right now, which we are about to get started in one moment here. Uh, give me one moment here while it gets it set up. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and just uh, wait on them to get started. But again, I am your guy, uh, Mr. Snipes himself, Papa Snipes. I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in here to Snipes Television. And once again, welcome everyone to the Leather Helmets playoff game. Big NFC matchup here between the Saints and the Eagles. This is going to be a bomb burner right here. I, I promise you guys that we, they're basically getting this thing set up right now and they're putting in the wrong things. Bear me will be one moment, guys, while we get this all set up. All right, so in the process, this game is about to kick off here right now as we get this game started here in the Leather Helmets League. Playoff matchup here between Slop and the Saints, taking on Gons and the Eagles. And, man, both of these guys coming out here with some solid play right now. As the Eagles are getting ready to start off right now, puts Ertz in motion. Gets the ball handed off with nothing on play for Sanders. Actually loses three on the play. And a second and 13. Got a little bit of a jumpy game here right now. Don't know exactly what's going on here, but nonetheless, jumpy game thus far. And a second and 13. And this could be one of the things everybody's talking about as far as uh, with Mixer thus far. So, a little bit of jitteriness in Mixer's uh, streams, I guess. But nonetheless, these guys are on Mixer streaming right now, and we get a big pick. User interception. Great work right there. Could not get the tackle. And Davis with second play of the game gets a big interception. And a first down. For Slop. With the big interception right there in the beginning of the game. So here we go. Bridgewater coming out here. Gets the ball out to Murray. First play of the game there for Bridgewater. Couldn't get much on the play. Only a gain of one. But second and goal. He only needs two more yards here. Brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. Got Bridgewater coming out here in the shotgun formation. Hands it off to Bridgewater. He couldn't get nothing on the play. Great defensive stop right there. Four guns. And a big third down right here. Still on the two-yard line, so still only needs two yards. And just to play safe, here goes the running play. And does not get in. A big fourth down right here. Can Gons get this stop on the one yard line? As Iraqi is coming out in shotgun formation. I don't agree with this play here, but he gets in nonetheless. So the big turnover. Second play of the game. Get slop in front, seven to nothing. So great defense there by slop. And now Don's gonna have to come out and see if he can put some things together here. 
And shout out to all my guys that's tuning in right there as well, too, on Twitch also. What's good with you, Smith? Here we go, here we go. Lady. So Smitty is on Twitch right now talking about 24 to 10 Eagles. Right now the Eagles didn't start off right. As Sanders only gets one on the play there, giving him a total of only minus two yards. And I do apologize, guys, but it looks like there's a real jumpy, real jumpy string here. Gets it off to Sanders again. This time he gets a big hole. And a big first down right there. And there you go with a nice nine yard gain on the play right there for a first down. And now Don's got some guys to cook with. As he comes out here in the shotgun formation. Play action pass, plenty of time in the pocket, and a big play right there to Zach Ernst to the 10-5, touchdown, nothing but time in the pocket, and a big touchdown pass right there, and this game looks like it's about to be a tie ball game, kick is up and it's good. And Gons gets on the board, and we have now a 7-7 ball game here in the divisional round. And I do apologize again, guys, that in my actual stream name, I put I put wild card leather helmet league, but this is not wild card. This is obviously the divisional, so apologies on that. I'm not going to worry about changing that right now because we got a game cooking here right now because now we got a tie ball game in this bad boy. That slot coming out here in the single back. Goes back of the pass. Tons of time, but Cox gets inside. And Flesh with his first sack of the game. A loss of seven on the play. A second and 17. Now, I'll tell you what right now. If Cox gets going, it's nothing that this offensive line is going to be able to do to stop him. So you definitely don't want to get him going. As Murray does get the carry, a little bit of stoppage on the play there. He gains one on the play, and a big third and 12 here already for Slop. AC is going 24-21 Eagles. Blackout is going 20-13 Eagles. So, so far, everybody is picking the Eagles to win this thing. And shout out to Blackout and Big Lewop for the follow. And another big sack by none other than that man, Fletcher Cox. As I stated earlier, if you get him going, there will be no stopping this man. And now Slop just had to figure that out the hard way as he has to punt this ball out. And Gons is getting some good field position here, starting on close to the 40-yard line. Oh, what's good, Jim? Oh, big toss and a big block right there. Gets the first down. Could have had a little bit more if Sanders had some jets on him, but nonetheless still got the first down on the play. And once again, shout out to everybody that's on Twitch and also here in Mixer as well, tuning in right now. Hands it off again to Sanders. Sanders getting a little bit of a, a, a load today. He's got five yards, five rushes thus far. Gain of four right there on that play. So the big play thus far, if anybody's just tuned in, Zach Ertz got a huge touchdown with nothing but time for Wentz in the pocket. He had time to make a sandwich, smoke a blunt, and much, much more things he could have been doing in that pocket. Hand it off. 
and loses probably a yard or so on that play, a yard or two. Big third and nine here. So we talked about on the one side of the ball on defense with Fletcher Cox. On this side of the ball here, on the defensive side, obviously you don't want to get Cam Jordan going. As he gets it over to Sanders again, runs it on the third down. And Miles gets a big first down on the play, a 13-yard gain on the play. And a big first down right there. So Wop coming on here talking about 28-24 Saints. As the Saints get a good stop right there on Sanders. Lost a two on the play. Mr. Marley himself, shout out to you, Marley. Says 24 to 17 Saints. So we're starting to split it up a little bit here on the pick. So who's gonna who's gonna do what in each? As that is the end of the first quarter, we got a tie ball game, guys, here, seven to seven. Here on Snipes Television, here on Mixer and Twitch as well. Got more chat going on right now in Mixer, though. So I'm going to ride with Mixer for right now on this one. So second and 12. And we got a little bit of stoppage once again. But gets the pass out there. Looks like he got it to D-Jack. West with his second completion of the day. 17 yard gain on the play there and a big first down right there for Gons and Gons got the offense going right now he gets the slap pattern out for another first down like a 10 or 11 yard gain on that play got it right to white side and get another first down and now we got first to goal to see if this defense here can Hold it down for slop. And a big stop right there by Davis as he injures Sanders. Big hit right there. And that could bite Gons in the behind as far as running backs are concerned. I don't know who he has on the side for another running back. Absolutely got smacked on that play. Looks like he has a it looks like a fullback there. Hill gets the ball for a three yard three yard gain on the play. And a big third down here. I tell you, Sanders got wrecked on that play. I'll be very surprised if Sanders could come back in this game. Because he definitely got rocked. But this is a big play right here for the Saints defense. Yeah, Hill is huge. <laughs> There's no doubt about that one. He is huge. Look like a lineman just running the rock. The great thing he's done. Come on, QB, come on. Hey, check Mike. Bravo. So a big third down here for these Eagles. As he's got plenty of time and gets it outside but could not stay in bounds. And just as I stated, he definitely got hurt on that one with a Bruce Sternum. Right now with Twitch, there's only two, two, uh, two people, guys. So we got plenty going on right now with Mixer. So we're going to ride with Mixer right now in this one. And shout out to everybody that's followed me thus far on Mixer as well, too. Definitely got to get the, the, mixer, the Mixer guys up. So Gons gets three points on the play there. Brings him up 10 to 7. So definitely a win situation right there for Slop on defense. Here in this the divisional matchup. Right here, right here. Check 
able to hand it off to Murray. Didn't follow the, the blocks correctly there. And actually lost two on the play. Make it a second and, tw and 12. A loss of two brings up second and 12. Yeah, Jim, see, that, that's one of the reasons here, too, why I wanted to, to start going on Mixer a little bit more because of the audio. The audio is way better on Mixer, for sure. Here we go, guys. Second and 12 here. Bridgewater got a little bit of time. Gets the out pattern there to Thomas. Gets the first down on the play. 15-yard gain on the play, and Bridgewater's first completion of the day. And the Saints first down. Set, hut. H again, H again. Coming to you, coming to you. Check. Let's go. Gets the touch pass out, and does get a little bit of a break there, but could not get enough to get the first down there. Smith only got eight on that play. Now, mind you guys, let's not forget, he's also got Hopkins on this squad as well, too. Didn't even realize that until I just looked. And the Eagles defense come to play right here as they stuff Murray for a two-yard loss at a third and five now. And a big third and five here right now for Slop. And just a completely overthrown ball there by Bridgewater. Making it fourth and five. He's probably going to have to put this ball out here. So I believe we still got some other games that need to be played as well, too. As you can probably see on the bottom of the screen, Smith... Smith and K. Cash actually played their game already, and the Chiefs got that win by 10 points, 38 to 28 in the AFC side of things. We still got a few other games that got to be played as well, too, in this uh, in this playoffs. Don't go. Here for the Leather Helmets League. So, guys gets the ball back here, starting on the 15 yard line, so not good field position. And gets stuffed right there at the line of scrimmage. May have lost one on the play. And he did lose one. Second and 11. Azzaloni with the big stop right there. And Calvary is on here on Twitch talking about Chiefs is a bomb. So the trash talk is commencing here. So the Calvary doesn't like the Chiefs apparently. In this particular league, you guys can let me know a little bit more about that. But a big third and nine here as Davis gets another big stop. And let's see if they can put things together here on the defensive end once again. Or is Gons just going to go down the field again and get at least another three points? Let's see what he could do here. So third and nine. Man, five, seven. Both seven to the mic. Both seven to the mic. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull it together. 47 mic. 47 mic. Back to the pass and came in untouched was Garner Johnson. First sack of the game for him. And a fourth to 16, a big stop right there. Boa comes in here with the 24-17 Eagles pick. Gets the punt out and gets decent field position. A great, great juke move. A little bit of spin cycle going right there as we hit the two-minute warning. Here in this divisional round of playoffs between Gaz and his Eagles taking on Slop and these Saints. Here on Snipes Television. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone there on Mixer. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And shout out to my people on, on YouTube as well, too, tuning in. As we got a little bit of user going on right there. Thought he might have had a pick. 
but an incomplete pass. DeAndre Hopkins could, could not get that catch, and a big second and 10 here. Clock to stop. Bridgewater doesn't have too many completions today. Watch that blitz on the right side of the screen. And gets the catch. Did not think he was going to get that catch there to Smith, but he did get it for the 16-yard gain. And another first down right now for Slop, and Slop is trying to drop downfield now to at least get a top game in. And throws it right there to the user lurk. And he's got Lyman to beat. If he can get a block here, he'll beat him. And it looks like to the 10-5, pick six touchdown for Gons and the crew. And now Gons takes a commanding 17-7 lead here with the big use alert interception. So in the beginning of the game, Goss goes a pick to Slop, but obviously Slop, he took advantage of it, got a touchdown out the deal. But now the other side of the ball here in the second quarter, the same thing happens, only a pick six at this time. Going the opposite way. As Murray does get the ball here, gets a few on the play, got a little bit of stoppage once again. Four-yard gain on the play. So Bridgewater is not having the best day thus far. Plenty of time there for Bridgewater. Got to make a good read. He does make a read there. The only read he could make. And a big third and four here for Gonson's defense. Can Gon stop him from getting another score here? Or excuse me, get another first down, we should say, as this clock is still ticking. He's got plenty of time and plenty of timeouts as well. I'm surprised he's not stopping the clock. Tries to get it to the outside there, could not get it, and a fourth down. And now going to give Gaza the opportunity to get a little bit more, a little bit more time. Well, it's not really going to be a lot of time here. And I'm very surprised he didn't call the uh, fair catch. But not a lot of time here to finish this half out. Money Dimes, what's good with you, brother? You get blocked, Lee. You get 57. 57. 47 is the mark, boy. 47. Check, check. All right, so he's back. Wentz has plenty of time once again. Nothing but time and gets it to his guy. Great job right there, and but he can't kick a field goal here at this point. He's just gonna have to just launch it down the field and hopefully, hopefully Slop could get some defense in here to at least get a sack going here. He has no running backs in the backfield to even help. He needs to get some pressure here. Back for the pass. And once again, nothing but time. But he had to wind up too much. And Cam Jordan, once you get him involved, he's going to be a problem. As we end the half, 10-point lead thus far for Gaz and his Eagles here in this divisional matchup here. And again, you guys are tuned into the Leather Helmets League. This is the divisional round, NFC side of things between Slop and the Saints, taking on Gons and his Eagles here on the Snipes Television Network. We definitely appreciate you guys tuning in on Mixer, also on Twitch as well. And we also got a few guys tuning in as well on YouTube also. So shout out to you guys as well. So Slop getting the ball here. In the beginning of this third quarter. And a big first and ten here. See if they can get a big play. And Thomas does get the catch there, looks like. Yes, he does. Big play right there in the first down. 
Great possession catch right there for a 19-yard gain on the play and a big first down. Just don't want to make any more mistakes throwing picks. As Bridgewater back from pass with plenty of time. And does a smart thing and throws it out of bounds. A shout out to my defense of the New York Giants right now. Getting a big interception in real life here as a Monday night game is going on right now. You know I'm a Giants fan, guys. Picked off Dak Prescott. Antoine Bethea with the first interception of the year for him for himself. And there goes Fletcher Cox. Third sack of the game. He's cooking with gas at this point right now. Third and 18. So third and 18, and that man is cooking right now. Fletcher Cox cannot be held. But that does help right there as he does get the catch, but a big injury for Hopkins. This is huge. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be something special right here for Gons if if Hopkins is out. As he does get the ball out wide open, taking that thing right to the house, and a big shoulder tear for DeAndre Hopkins. Unbelievable. Very interested at this point in the game now to really see what is this gonna do for the Saints in this playoff run if DeAndre Hopkins cannot continue. But nonetheless, tons of dots thrown on that drive and he's now only down by three against Gons. So here we go. Let's see if the defense is going to do some things here for the Saints. Now West back there for tons of time. And there goes Cameron Jordan once again. Cameron Jordan with another big sack, his second of the game. A loss of eight on the play. And as the hand gestures just said, he is going to continue to stack them and stack them and stack them. That's another one you don't want to get started. He only needs one more to get that unstoppable force trait. Here we go, here we go. 120. Lefty, lefty. So second down, gets the ball handed off. Gets to the outside. Running back got a little juice. Drew Brewer's got a little juice on him. Gains quite a bit there on the play. Bo, why you so wide? <laughs> why you so wide, Bo? What's going on? Wentz is back, time to time. Does get it to his blanket. Zach Hurts with another reception, a 14-yard reception there. And another first down there for Spice. I tell you, that's the one person on this Eagle squad that you really got to watch out for. Sometimes you got to double them. As Davis gets in there for yet another tackle. And Davis is having a quiet, has kept fantastic game defensively right now. No gain on the play there and a second and 10. So not sure what's going on with the play calling here on the defensive side. All day, dog. He's crashing. He's checking crash. Watch the out route right there on the left side. He does hand it off though. Gets a few decent yards on that play. Only gain of four, but gain of four is better than loss of four, that's for sure. And a big third and six here. For Gons. Let's see if he can get this first down. Let's go, D. And keep the pressure going right now on slop. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. 
He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. Don's out there trying to make his reads. He makes a good play on there. Get good play call. And it looks like he might have the first down, and he does. Big first down right there on the play. Bloodhound, shout out for the follow. We definitely appreciate you following, brother. Here on Mixer, we definitely appreciate that. So no gain on that last play. It off there once again. Again, the, the man, the, the, the man Brewer got some jets on him. He just got to get to the outside there. Could not get to the outside. Only gets three on the play. And again, a huge third down right here for these Saints. It's got to get a stop here because they could at least kick a field goal, and they go right back up by six. Here we go, Pac-Man. And he might play the smart route here and run the ball. Nope, he's going back to pass it. And he does the wrong thing as a big interception. By slop. And it was definitely not the smart thing to do by passing that ball there. As slop gets the big pick. And now can possibly tie this ball game up. Hand it off to Murray. There's nothing on the play by that man, none other than Fletcher Cox. Another stop on the play there, just a gain of one. Yeah, Don, it didn't look like it for a minute that he was shooting in the third quarter, but nonetheless, it didn't matter. Do a pick there in the process. Play action right there for Bridgewater. Plenty of time. He has to wind up a little too much. And a big hit right there by Jenkins. Gets the ball knocked out of Thomas's hands. Great play on defense right there. And a big third down play for Gons in his defense. Snap back there for Bridgewater, no time. But he has a wide open man. And gets clipped once again. Drops the ball after the hit, and a fourth and nine. He cannot take take advantage of the turnover. So he has to put the ball out, and Gons keeps his three point lead intact thus far. Shout out to Fire Flame for the follow as well too on Mixer. We definitely appreciate you following. Thank you so much. So first and ten. And Dons can take his time here at this point in the game. Get the run again going a little bit. But he does get the play action. And a wide open, wide open receiver for the first down. Great job on the play right there by Whiteside. Fantastic. Play call right there. Great play action. Shout out Titans in the building for the leather helmets. Gets that stretch pattern outside. Gets some good blocking. The game seven on the play, making a second to three. Great 15, great 15. Tight jump, tight jump. Watch this, A little bit of jitteriness there on the game still. But nonetheless got nothing on the play right there. Cameron Jordan with the big stop as we end the third quarter. And the score right now, Gons is up right now 17 to 14 here in this divisional matchup. Here in the Leather Helmets League. Again, I'm your boy Papa Snipes. I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in and checking us out here on Snipes Television.
If you not hit that follow button yet, whether you be on Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube, make sure you hit that follow button. We've got a lot of playoff stuff getting ready to crack off as another big user alert, and this is a pick six. Without a doubt, 10-5 touchdown, and just like that, that man slop is not looking sloppy as he is now taking a four-point lead 21 to 17. Fantastic lurk play right there by Slop. Way to show the stick. And now he takes a lead. Let's see what Gons could do here on the offensive side of the ball. As Gons has thrown a couple of interceptions in this game. Each one of these guys has an interception and a pick six. So the defense is working pretty good in this game between the both of them. Gets the ball to the outside there. Doesn't get too much on the play. Only gets five. So Foss only gets five on that play there, making a second and five here. Wentz has a little bit of time, and he did the wrong thing by scrambling to the right side. He runs right into a Von Bell sack, and a big third and 16 right here for this Saints defense. Loses 11 on the play. Go, go. Sunday, Sunday. So a third and 16 here for Gons. Hey, Back for the pass again. Had plenty of time and an incomplete pass. And the defense held it down for slot. So here we go. Can slot take advantage and get another score on the board? If he can at least get three points on the board, it'll at least put him up by a touchdown. But great job on defense there by Slop, putting things together there. And taking on a four-point lead into this fourth quarter. Stretch pattern comes out, reads the wrong hole there. Nothing on the play there. Could not get through the hole, giggity. And a second and 10. I'll tell you, both of these guys are playing solid defense. This is what playoff, the playoff games are all about. You know, playing solid defense, running the football. And at this point in the game now, starting to try to choose some clock. As he puts Murray in motion, and we could not see the play but we see what happened in the play because he lost three on it. And a third and 13. Bridgewater coming out, empty set. Bunched on the left side with Thomas in the slot. I have noticed that Thomas has not been used that much in his game. And with the loss of DeAndre Hopkins, you would think he'd use him a little bit more. He's got to try to get it out to him, see if he can get the big catch. And he could not, as the big interception for Gons, he gets to the outside, does get tackled. But Maddox, first pick of the game. And a first and 10 there on the half century mark right there for the Eagles. Hands it off to Brewer. Only gains two on the play. Second and eight. Hands it off once again to Brewer, but he ran right into Brown's tackle. And doesn't get nothing but two on the play there, making it a third and six. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. 
Jim definitely was a bad throw, and, it, and it, <laughs> at least it was like a punt wop for sure. So here we go, a big third and six right here. Can Gons get a stop here and force him to go for it on fourth down? Because this is four, four down territory right now at this point in the game. Luck in that middle, and there you go. That man slop once again with a big pick. Didn't read the block right. Could have got to the inside a little bit. It would have been gone for the pick six. But nonetheless, another big interception right there by Slop. Ball handed off. Murray could not get nothing on that play. Murray has been struggling completely in this game. He's not even averaging, not even half a yard in this game but he really hasn't had to do a tremendous amount of running his defense has been playing real solid has quite a few picks come down to second and 13 gets it to the out pattern but huge tackle right there and now Michael Thomas is injured Michael Thomas his X factor his second X factor player is now injured Let's check out what's going to happen here. To third and 13. And that's an easy pick. Well, wasn't that easy, but nonetheless, still a pick. The Eagles get the ball back with the Douglas and he, Thomas. Broken ribs on the play. So for those who are just tuning in, Slop has two, counting two. X-Factor receivers. DeAndre Hopkins, he was hurt in the third, in the second or third quarter. And he tries to get the screen going, but could not get it going. Loses yards on the play. But DeAndre Hopkins, gone for the game with a jacked up shoulder. And now just lost Michael Thomas for the game. This will be so crazy. <laughs> If he could not have both of his wideouts for the entire rest of the playoffs, if he can pull this game off. Big third and 11 here. He's going to have to rely on the defense because there's not going to be too much more offense going on right now for the Saints. He's definitely going to have to rely on his defense to, to put some work in here. He needs to stop. One's trying to make his reads. Gets back there for the pass. Cameron's coming free, but gets blocked again and throws it directly to Davis. Davis is having an all-star game today. Two interceptions. A crazy amount of tackles and a partridge in a pear tree for Davis. And starting now on the 29-yard line, automatically in field goal range. Gets the pattern out. Gets the two juke moves. Great job right there for a seven-yard gain for Ayers. And it looks like we just hit the two-minute warning. And this game could be a wrap. If this first down is got, this game is pretty much a wrap here. Hands it off to Murray. Follows his blockers and gets the first down and then some. Gets it to the end zone for the big, quick touchdown. So shout out to the turnover king. Slop right now in this game anyway. Has been doing nothing but use alerts and getting tons of pressure. Causing guys to just do nothing but just throw picks all day in this game. That last pick was definitely an awful looking pick for Carson Wentz. So quite a few people got this one wrong here thus far. As we got an 11 point lead right now for Slop. He's gotta pass this ball. Stretches it to the left. He's got a blocker. 
Eli Apple comes up for the tackle. It's an 11 yard gain on the plane. Excuse me, that's Von Bell. Apologies on that. As the clock is continuing to tip here for Wentz. I don't know why he's not calling any time out this far. He's keeping the running game going. If he stays patient and allows his tight end to get that block, he would have been fine. Nothing but time for Carson. And a big thought he got the I thought he got the catch. Could not get it. White side could not get that catch. Go go. Set set 47. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And here we go again. Here we go again. So one on one remaining in this game. Gets it to the outside. He did look like he tried to cut back in, but could not get anything going. He's trying to do a no huddle when he has three timeouts. I'm not understanding this. But as Wap said in the chat, fly, Eagle, fly. Fly out of the sky, that is, anyway, because there's no way he's coming back from this one. Now he's going to kick the field goal. So this is definitely smart here to go and kick this field goal. Try for the onside and see what you can get. As the kick is up and it looks like it's going in. It is. So here it is. Onside kick. Can he get it? Can Gons get it? He cannot. This game is a wrap, gentlemen. Let's go, fellas. So Slot will be moving on to the NFC Championship game. And shout out to Slot for putting in major work on defense in this game. Creating crazy turnovers and capitalizing, most importantly, capitalizing on every single turnover. That's the most important thing that he could have done today and he did everything to do it. Now the only thing he has to worry about at this point in the game or in these playoffs is who's gonna play for him via wide receiver. After this is all said and done, we're gonna tune in right here to this, uh, to the stream. See if he keeps it on anyway, cause we really wanna see what his, uh, what his injury situation is going to look like for DeAndre Hopkins and Thomas. As this game, it is a wrap officially as the whistle blows. Game is over. 28-20. to 20. Slop takes the win in this one. Shout out to Sl Swap for, for Slop, excuse me, for going through and just getting this thing done and getting now to the conference championship game here in the Leather Helmets League. Great job by him. Let's see if he shows us here what the injury situation is going to look like for both of these guys. I'm extremely... I, I need to know what this is going to be all about as he's trying to just upgrade some guys here. Let's see if he helps us out here so we can look. And if he doesn't, it's okay. It's all good. Now, we got a game tomorrow night as well, too, guys. Make sure you guys tune in here. 5.45, we got another game tomorrow night right here on Snipes Television for the Leather Helmets playoffs. As AC and his Cardinals is going to be taking on Boho and his Vikings, that will be tomorrow night. So make sure that you guys tune in here as well for that. As we, again, I want to see some injuries. There we go. Okay, maybe he's not going to do anything with the injuries.
Tell this man in chat to show us the injuries, damn it. <laughs> show us the injuries. He don't want to show him. Uh, is this it right here? Wow. He has lost both of his guys. Lost both of his guys for the playoffs. An unbelievable turn of events as he has lost his 99 and 95 overall X Factor players for the playoffs. Unbelievable turn of events for this man. This is just so crazy that he lost that. Oh, my goodness. That's just so crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nonetheless, guys, listen. We definitely appreciate you guys tuning in here on Snipes Television there on Twitch and especially on Mixer. Shout out to everybody that checked me out here on Mixer as well, too. I might do Mixer a little bit more. I like how Mixer does its thing. I like the way they do business. I definitely do. I like the way they do business. But I definitely might check them out a little bit more and and, and definitely, definitely, definitely uh, be, tune in here tomorrow night. We getting in here tomorrow night for sure. Whether they stream on Twitch or Mixer doesn't matter to me. I will be streaming right here on Mixer, no doubt about it. And I might even do it exclusive on Mixer. So that way, people could kind of get in the chat a little bit more and get involved a little bit more right here on Mixer, guys. So again, and shout out for the um, you know, for, for the graphics. You know, the graphics is definitely dope. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a link a little later on in the chat, let you guys know who did it, because they do major fire work. They definitely do. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, listen, I got to get to my Giants game. I probably missed the first quarter already. My Giants is playing okay, I think. I don't know what else happened thus yet. But nonetheless, I'm going to get to that game right now. So, again, tune in tomorrow night. I'll have a graphic up probably tonight. Tune in tomorrow night. We will have a game popping right here between AC and his Cardinals, taking on Boho and those Vikings in the NFC side of these divisional matchups. This is Snipes Television, everyone. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Holla.